yes guys today we've got another video um literally gonna go through my fortnite settings and my geforce now settings will probably be diff two different clips but i'm literally gonna show you those um settings to reduce input lag um just overall lag um on geforce now to get you know smoother frames and stuff like that however before we, or before i start off i know that a lot of people have been experiencing the GeForce Now, you know, sign of spotty connection, um, and how literally every single person, every single gamer that uses on GeForce Now is currently always on. Um, that's obviously because of the virus. So these settings will probably help um, during during the better schedule times of late night and early morning. I wouldn't recommend playing in the day because literally it's gonna lag um, continuously. Plus, there's loads of tournaments, so. It's still gonna lag. A lot of people are gonna be online Fortnite and on other games, so that's probably why you've been lagging. But if you have been getting input lag, so slower reaction times, um, so when you press the mouse, um, you shoot uh, like a few seconds later. That's the input lag. Um, and if you want to fix that, um, you just want to use these settings. So you obviously go to settings. These are not my settings, by the way. You. What I usually go with is 120 frames. Um, these settings always change every time you come on Fortnite, so I do it again and again. I just come on. Um, view distance, I do that medium to far. I usually leave it on far. If I'm playing at night and there are not a lot of people playing, I usually just leave it on far because I know it's not going to lag. Um, but if it is going to lag, try put it on medium. Um, shadows off, I put anti analyzing or aliasing. I don't know how to say that to be honest. You switch that off. Um, all the way up um, textures off effects off post, post processing <clears throat> very low all three of these low um, v syncs obviously off I usually switch off motion blur depends on how you play to be honest um, sometimes if you're in the mood to put a motion blur on go for it if you're making montages that might help a bit um, obviously show FPS on Direct X version, that's the current one, and obviously there's a, a beta one, which is probably less tested, yeah. Um, it does, Direct X 11 probably does help with better performance, so that'll probably help you if you want to use that, go for it. And allow multi-threaded rendering, I usually leave that on, but um, if you do have a really bad uh, FPS, you just switch it off. So that's what my settings are normal. Um, if it's helped you out, make sure to like the video, comment down below any future videos you want me to do. I'll probably may be making a video next in the next few days, another video on why GeForce Now has been really bad in its current state and why the coronavirus has just messed us all up. And yeah, make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 600 subs, 1,000 subs. You know, in the next few months. So yeah, go for it. Thank you for watching.